Traditionally, Airbus and Boeing have long ruled the wide-body aircraft market by their superior expertise and decades of engineering mastery. But now, China, fueled by an audacious vision to revolutionize its aviation sector, is preparing to challenge these titans. The Comac C929, a wide-body jet purpose built to rival the iconic Airbus A350 and Boeing 777. But why could it be a game-changer for the aviation industry? And can this daring design elevate Comac to the same level as the two Western aerospace titans? Let's dive in. The Chinese have long dreamed of conquering the skies with massive airplanes. Then, on May 28, 2023, the C919 successfully completed its first commercial flight, bringing the entire nation of China to a celebratory high. After 54 years of dreams and relentless effort, China finally has its very own large passenger aircraft. But they won't stop there. The C919 seats 158 to 192 passengers with a range of 4,075 to 5,555 kilometers, which sounds decent. But for those endless intercontinental journeys where you can fly straight to the destination, China needs a true heavyweight, bigger, farther, and more powerful. And then, on February 18th, 2024, during its debut at the Singapore Air Show, the world's first C919 took center stage. But Hangzhou didn't stop there and made a bold declaration. The project to develop and produce the domestic wide-body passenger aircraft fuselage will be completed this year. And the plane to make this happen? None other than the C929, the epic level-up version of the C919. It is preparing to conquer the sky. Let's dive into the details of the star of the show. C929. C-929, China's latest rising star in the aviation world, was previously known as the CR-929. But after Russia pulled out of the joint development project in 2023, China decided to rename it and take full charge of making this aircraft a masterpiece. It is expected to carry 280 to 400 passengers with a range of up to 12,000 kilometers. To put things into perspective, the Airbus. A350 seats 300 to 410 passengers with a range of 15000 kilometers, and the Boeing 777 can carry up to 396 passengers with a range from 9,700 to 15,000 kilometers depending on the configuration. What makes the C929 stand out is that it will be the first long-range wide-body aircraft fully developed by China. It meets international aviation standards and boasts independent intellectual property rights. Hangzhou, a city famed for its innovation, is stepping up to manufacture the fuselage for this sky beast. Reports revealed that the project to develop composite components for China's wide-body passenger aircraft involves a whopping investment of 6.56 billion win, a budget super huge. The plan includes building a composite material factory for mid-sized fuselages, an aerospace R&D center, and a suite of other support facilities. Once operational, this cutting-edge production line will focus on developing advanced aerospace composites, automating production, coding processes, and assembling large composite parts. The ultimate goal? To successfully develop and mass-produce top-quality wide-body fuselages. And here's the cherry on top. When full-scale production begins, the annual output is expected to reach 45 C929 aircraft per year. Looks like Hangzhou is gearing up to take flight in style. Let's break down the C929 project in detail. There are two key points in this project. First point, it's a true wide-body aircraft. According to international aviation regulations, to be considered a wide-body, the aircraft must meet at least one of two standards either have three seat rows with two aisles or a passenger cabin width of at least 4.72 meters. Sounds simple enough, but the C919, while pretty big for a single aisle plane, still only has one aisle. So it couldn't be considered for a wide body aircraft, but China has leveled up with the C929, officially entering the world of wide body aircraft. According to COMAX vice president, the first fuselage section of the C929 is expected to be completed by September 20th, 27, with test flights following shortly after. In addition, it has a spacious interior with a 333 seating layout. The economy class of the C929 uses the popular 333 seat configuration, which means more space and comfort and no more elbow wars with your neighbor. This mid-sized long-range 
Wide body aircraft is designed to handle international routes from Asia to Europe, or maybe even around the globe. The second point, this aircraft uses composite materials, a move that's both ingenious and ambitious for China's aviation industry. Experts point out that wide body passenger aircraft not only need to fly far and carry more, but also face challenges such as high pressure, extreme temperatures, and corrosive external environments. As a result, the structural propulsion and material requirements are a huge challenge. Composite materials are gaining the spotlight, not just because they look good, but because they perform even better, lighter, stronger, and highly resistant to fatigue and corrosion. Moreover, they unlock creative design possibilities that traditional materials can only dream of. In aviation, reducing weight isn't just a goal, it's a survival race, as 70% of aircraft weight reduction comes from material technology advancements. According to reports, the C929 will utilize over 50% carbon fiber composites and 15% titanium alloys, effectively declaring, we're not just building planes, we're shaping the future. For context, the C919 also uses 12% composite materials comparable to giants like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. But compared to current narrow-body planes, which only use around 10%, the C929 stands out as a true material tech giant. The aviation industry has always been regarded as a symbol of modern industry, as the aircraft manufacturing process involves a multitude of complex stages, including design, material research and development, component production, specialized processing, manufacturing equipment, and flight testing. It represents the pinnacle of modern technology, engineering, and manufacturing excellence. It's undeniable that Chinese-made aircraft are of good quality, and the country's potential for aviation development is enormous. However, when compared to Western manufacturers like Airbus and Boeing, Comac still faces significant challenges. A major question is whether Comac can leverage the C929 to compete directly with Airbus and Boeing. This is not just a technological issue, but also one of reputation and acceptance in the global market. What do you think? The first challenge for Comac lies in its customer base. It primarily relies on domestic what Chinese airlines for orders. Meanwhile, international markets, particularly in Europe and North America, remain skeptical about the quality of Chinese products. This hesitation creates a dilemma for foreign airlines, as they fear passengers might refuse to fly on Comac aircraft, potentially affecting their profitability. Secondly, Comac's current production capacity is far too low to meet market demands. Even with Boeing facing production constraints for the 737, both Boeing and Airbus significantly outpace this China manufacturer in terms of output. What Comac produces in a year is equivalent to what Airbus or Boeing can manufacture in just one month. This creates a major hurdle for airlines that require new aircraft promptly to expand and maintain their fleets. Finally, the CFM Leap 1C engine used in the Comac C919 differs significantly from the Leap 1A and 1B variants used by the Airbus A320 Neo and Boeing 737 MAX, respectively. While the Leap 1C shares more similarities with the older CFM 56 engine, it lacks the performance edge of its siblings, making it less competitive. This disparity alone makes the C919 a less attractive option for most airlines, as the Leap 1C underperforms compared to Pratt and Whitney's PW1500G and the Leap 1A and 1B engines. On the other hand, the airframe of the C919 is aerodynamically sound and well suited for its intended role. However, the limitations in China's manufacturing technology result in a heavier airframe compared to comparable Boeing and Airbus models, further impacting performance and efficiency. Consequently, the fuel economy of the C919 is estimated to fall somewhere between the older Boeing 737 Next Gen and the more advanced MAX, placing it at a disadvantage. The challenges for Comac are not limited to technology, but extend to production. Bombardier faced similar hurdles when scaling up production for the A220, which took nearly eight years to stabilize. Comac will likely encounter a similar learning curve with the C919. However, signs of progress are emerging, such as Gallup Air and Total Linus Arius's order, which indicates growing confidence in the aircraft outside China. By 2030, Comac may be able to ramp up production to competitive levels. For airlines unable to afford the wait times or high costs associated with Western jets, especially in developing countries, the C9-1 the 9th of May present a viable alternative. Looking ahead, the same challenges and market dynamics will likely apply to the C929. 
While Airbus and Boeing dominate the wide body market due to established production capabilities and global networks, Comac's primary advantage will remain within China, where the local market could absorb much of the production. Achieving even 100 foreign sales would be a significant milestone for it. As aviation moves toward alternative fuels and more advanced propulsion systems, Comac's experience with projects like the CJ-1000 engine will be invaluable. However, it will take decades of sustained innovation and market growth for Comac to emerge as a genuine rival to Airbus and Boeing on the global stage. It seems that the challenges facing Comac haven't deterred airlines from recognizing the potential of the C929. This wide-body jet is steadily positioning itself as a promising contender in the global aviation market, with eyes set on more than just domestic customers. Russia, a country in need of both reliable narrow-body and wide-body aircraft to modernize its fleet, could emerge as a key customer for the C929. With its strained relationships with Western manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus, the C929 presents an attractive alternative. Beyond Russia, China has ambitious plans to target the broader Asian market, leveraging its growing aviation capacity to penetrate one of the fastest growing regions for air travel. Comac's confidence in this aircraft was showcased at China's largest air show in Zhuhai, where it announced that Air China would become the first customer for this new wide-body jet. Although details about the order size and delivery timeline were notably absent, the announcement marks a significant milestone in the program's development. Moreover, Comac's strategic vision doesn't end here. The company is banking on partnerships and technological advancements to make the C929 a viable option, not just in Asia, but also in emerging markets like Africa and Latin America. By positioning this aircraft as a cost-effective yet capable alternative to Airbus and Boeing models, Comac aims to carve out a niche in regions seeking modern jets without the premium pricing of Western competitors. While hurdles remain, such as production scalability and market acceptance, the interest generated by the aircraft signals that this ambitious project could redefine the landscape of global aviation in the years to come. But what about the long-term strategy? Chinese experts believe that Hangzhou's initiative to establish an advanced aviation composite material production line is a crucial step in resolving bottlenecks in China's aviation industry. This ambitious project is located on Chenzhen Road in the Chenzhen district of Hangzhou. Known as the heart of the high-end equipment manufacturing industry in the Chenzhen New Area, this district has become the front line of Hangzhou's burgeoning aviation sector. On March 20th, 21, Yuzhou Hu Airlines was selected as the sole supplier of the C929 fuselage, marking a significant milestone in China's aviation development. A series of projects have since been launched to support the production of large-scale fuselage components for COMAC, facilitating the successful development and testing of the C929. This progress not only represents a leap forward for the aircraft, but also strengthens China's standing in the global aviation market. Hangzhou is also aspiring to establish itself as an aviation industrial hub, akin to Seattle in the United States, home to major aerospace companies like Boeing. The Shenzhen district alone hosts over 60 major corporations, including 12 Fortune 500 companies, creating a fertile ecosystem for innovation and collaboration. The rapid growth of Hangzhou's aviation sector is not just paving the way for the success of the C929, but is also driving regional economic expansion. With an increasing concentration of aerospace expertise and resources, Hangzhou is poised to become a new epicenter of global aviation excellence. What do you think about this potential aircraft? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks and safe flights.